All right, all right. Welcome in, everyone. My name is Bailey. I work with Dashima with Flow State Yoga. I see some people coming in right now. Can we get some um, hellos in the chat? Tell me where you're from. Um, I'd love to know where you guys are tuning in from. Just before we get Dashima on, let's see here. Hi, uh, Isabel from Spain. Wow, nice. How you doing, Isabel? Where else do we have people coming in from today? VA, nice. Hi, Alexandria, Michigan, Miami, North Carolina, Washington State. Awesome. And as you come in, guys, can you please just make sure that you're uh, muted? Just make sure everybody is muted when you can, please. Awesome. Awesome. 
who is ready to be informed, enlightened, and feel the impact of Dashima today, who is always looking for a change in their lives and ready to make that change and figure out what they're meant to do on this earth. Um, Dashima is going to be going over all this amazing information over 20 years of experience um, in the yoga and inspirational um, fields. And uh, let's, let's see some readies and let's see some hands today. Yay, let's get it. I'm so excited. Um, she's taking the time today. So this is really awesome that we get to hear her story, hear how she's been so successful. And um, make sure you guys stay to the end as well, because we are giving away a uh, free gift for you guys, everybody who signed in on today, this really amazing hypnosis, a transformational hypnosis. Um, I definitely recommend you, you you use it right after or as soon as you can after this uh, masterclass because it's meant to transform your dreams into realities. So make sure you guys stay till the end. Um, and let's see some hands in the chat who's ready to get this started. We got some people flowing in still. All right, let's just wait a little more and then we'll get some more people in and then we'll get this started. Mm. Yes, Isabel. Isabel's excited. Who's ready to learn a lot today? And take all this information and put it into action. Yes, we're ready for change. We're ready for impact. We're ready to be the best versions of ourselves. And Dashima is going to teach us how to do that today. All right. Shine bright like a diamond. Who's ready to shine bright like a diamond? Woo! <laughs> so shine bright like a diamond. Right. Yes, Isabella, I see you. She's ready. All right, let's get started now. I see everybody's in. I'm going to turn this music down a little bit. So I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that um, Dashima is going to be coming on right after this, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief introduction if you don't know about her backstory. Um, she's been in this industry for 20 years, and she's impacted 100 million people and enrolled a million people into her courses. It's pretty impressive. And um, throughout her journey, she has been featured in Vogue, Wall Street Journal, um, ABC, NBC, Discovery, um, all these different publications. Um, she's also an international bestseller course creator, author, and she spoke at the United Nations. Um, she also worked at Sony Motion Picture Studios and was inducted into the Happiness Hall of Fame um, at Stanford. So pretty impressive stuff. Um, really excited to hear how she did all this, how she made it happen. Um, and some exciting news that you guys are exclusively hearing right now on this masterclass. She is currently working on a Flow State TV show, which will launch in 2025. So you guys get to be a part of um, the breaking news right now. And she's going to tell you more about how maybe you could be involved in that, um, working with her. And also, um, she's going to sh let you know how she's impacted all these people throughout her journey and how you can do it, too. Um, and like I said, make sure you guys stay till the end to get that free uh, hypnosis, really amazing hy hypnosis. And so without further ado, let's get Dashima on the 
Master class. Woo. Oh my God, my friends. Thank you so much, Bailey. I love you. I'm grateful to be here and I'm excited for today. Post a comment in the chat if you guys are as excited as we are about this session. You know, I've had people ask me for years to teach them this information and you are literally amongst a very, very exclusive elite group of people that's getting this information. So uh, you should, first of all, feel very excited about that, grateful about that. And it's 11.11. So we're just going to say a quick prayer for the world. I feel that part of our collective purpose here is to raise consciousness on earth and to truly be the light in the world that the world needs. So uh, we send healing, health, happiness, peace to all beings on this planet, especially the, the families, the children, and um, those who need it the most and peace and protection um, and prosperity for all is what my prayer is for humanity. So we send that out to all beings and and so it is. So my name is Dashima, as Bailey said, you know, I want to, I'm going to go through a PowerPoint. I'm going to show you a bunch of information today. If you take notes, that's a good idea. Um, you're going to learn so much that you could implement some of this immediately and start seeing incredible results for yourself. And that's what I want for you. I, I actually, you know, when you get to a certain point in your life and in your career, there's actually a turning point where my deepest desire is actually, you know, to help others to be able to, to do the same thing, if that's what you want, to be able to make your impact in the biggest way possible. And I had so many people ask me, like, how do you do it? Like, so we're going to be going through a PowerPoint today that I, that I kind of like have all the info in there. And at the end, I'll be answering questions. So stay to the end for that. Frequently, uh, so like a Q&A, the last 30 minutes will be Q&A. And um, so if you think about a question, you know, maybe jot it down and then bring it up at the end. It's much easier than stopping and like ask, answering questions throughout. We might have a little questions in the middle as well, just to kind of give you that opportunity. But definitely like if, if, if something comes to you that you want to ask, you can post it in the chat as well. And then when we do get to the Q&A section, then we'll kind of like go through the chat as well for any of the questions that you guys posted in there throughout the time. So that'll help you remember what your questions might be. And one of the things actually, like the most successful people in the world generally say that, you know, the quality of your life and the success of your life in large part is dependent upon the quality of your questions. And these questions, not only to me, but also to, to God, to life, to yourself, we call this self-inquiry if your questions are to yourself. And if it's to God, then we usually call that prayer. <laughs> There's different words for this. But basically, questions are the key and the cornerstone to everything. So as we're going through, hopefully I'll be answering just naturally some of the questions that you have in your heart about how to how to take your, your message to the masses, or, you know, even if you don't want to take it to millions or to the masses, to a bigger level, whatever that is for you, it could just be to more people in your community. It could literally be just like, uh, you know, doubling however many people you currently are able to reach. But if you want to take it to the biggest level, that's what I'm going to be sharing is that that's available to you as well. Like literally there's no limit. In fact, some of my closest friends uh, you know, so influencer, creator friends have reached billions of people, you know, so for me, 100 million is actually great, but it's also like, there's more to go, right? So that there's, there's 8 billion people on the planet. So we can kind of always think like, okay, how do we go from wherever we are to the next level? Well, there's a quote by Einstein that says you can't get to the next level or you can't solve a problem with the same level of consciousness that got you into it. <laughs> right. So you it requires a totally different way of seeing the world, seeing yourself and then thinking about it all. Like like you literally have to shift your perspective in order to to get to a new level. So that's why even the hypnosis that we're giving as a gift at the end, it's all about reinvent yourself because literally whoever you are at this moment is 
who is able to achieve the level of success and impact that you currently have. And then if you want to get to a different level, you actually have to be a new, different type of person. And that is not so hard necessarily, but it's not easy either. So that we're going to be talking about that as well. Like, how do you get to this new identity, this identity of yourself that is achieving impact to millions or is able to create the life of your dreams on a new level like that identity is not the same person you are in this moment and and nothing wrong with who you are in this moment i celebrate who you are every moment and who we are every moment but if we want to get to a different level we actually have to become a new person a new level of like ex like even how we see everything and then there's also the energetic behind that so the new level is how you see how you think, and also the frequency that you show up with, the frequency of your energy, like they call it your energetic, like fingerprint, or, <laughs> you know, there's different ways of saying it. But basically, the, the energy that you have, it allows you to attract a certain level. And so we'll talk about all that today as well. So when I think about how do I teach this, it's so much more than just like, okay, do this and this, and you're going to reach these people. Although you'll probably see a lot of marketing people, which I'm not, I don't, I don't really consider myself a marketing person, but like a lot of people promoting stuff on Instagram or Facebook ads, like I will help you reach all these millions of people. And all they're really talking about literally is actually running ads. <laughs> they're like, I will run ads for you. And you know, you're like, okay, so, but that doesn't at all address the elephant in the room, which is who do I need to become to attract that? And what other parts need to change about how I'm approaching this whole thing? So we're going to go into it. I'm going to be talking about those things too. The energetics behind it, the mindset behind it, the kind of like questions that you could be asking yourself as well. And then we'll go through a, uh, a whole series of slides. I have a PowerPoint for you. And then, and then you'll be able to kind of like do this a little bit of a workshop with me if you want throughout this. So you can actually do this today along with me a little bit. And then um, and we'll kind of take it uh, step by step. But you're going to see how how it's going to go in just one moment. I'm just going to pull up this PowerPoint. You know, it's so cool, too. That I want to mention, like, you know, in life, everything I really truly believe in divine timing like the universe is in divine time and perfect order. And this is something that it, like not everybody understands this fully, but if you can understand that, you can see that everything in your life has led you to this moment and everything in this moment is leading you actually to the next moment, right? So like the choices that you make right now are literally setting you up for where you're going to end up in five years, 10 years, whatever, you know what I mean? So it's literally like every choice, It's it, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. You know, it's like every choice is, is, is like a fork in the road. And when I think back on the choices that I made, both good and bad, I, there was a few decisions that I regret. And I'll talk about that too. Things that, for example, I, I was going to launch an app in 2000 and. 11 <laughs> and I didn't launch it because I didn't have I was just like not in the right place you know but like if I would have launched my app in 2011 imagine how many more people I could have impacted you know what I mean like for me even I made mistakes and I held myself back out of fear or ignorance or just you know like self-doubt or like I, I didn't think I had the money and so I didn't do it so there was like moments in my journey that I'll talk about throughout this as well that taught me so much wisdom, you know, and that's one thing that I'm going to be sharing with you today is like, how do you leverage 20 years of my wisdom that I learned from a million dollars worth of mistakes <laughs> to be able to not do those and then that you can you can actually expedite your path faster, easier, with more grace, with more support, and literally get there so much quicker, especially now we have so much technology that's available that wasn't available 20 years ago so like you guys are in, a, in actually a much much better place than I was and I feel like I was it makes me think of my grandmother when she used to always say like when they were kids they used to walk to school in the snow and they did and I was like yeah 
Like that's tough, man. You know, that was, that was real. And at the same time, nowadays, nobody's walking to school in the snow that I know, you know, so like life is getting easier actually. And so like, we can be grateful for that. And also we can um, leverage that in the sense of like, know that it's easier now, easier now more than ever. And if you leverage my wisdom that I'm going to share with you and then combine that with the technology that's available today, the guidance that's available for you, you're going to be able to like, like launch yourself into the stratosphere. And I'm really excited. I'm excited to see that. I'm also going to share with you some success stories of clients that I've worked with over the years and how they were able to take this wisdom and leverage it for themselves to achieve their dreams and goals and their impact. Okay, so let's get going. This is my PowerPoint. I'm going to kind of keep it like this. Okay, so let me just make sure it's the right, so you can see the whole slide. Here we are. All right. So first I want to start with this. You want to ask yourself this question. Okay. This is a question for you. Now, this is a question that you want to write down if you want, or like <laughs> take a screenshot or something. So my dream is to help. This is my dream, but I want you to think your dream, but I'm going to share with you mine. Help guide impact driven entrepreneurs to grow their global business, to positively impact the world and uplift humanity. So I'm not really interested in working with people that are not interested in impact in a positive way to uplift humanity. Like the, that's my very specific like niche because <laughs> there's lots of people that are like doing other businesses that it's not driven by impact to, to uplift humanity. So to me, I don't want to work with them. So you got to get specific, right? It doesn't have to be so hard. You can create a successful business without going crazy. Financial freedom and success is not a wild goose chase. I've worked hard for the past 18 years learning this stuff. Actually, it's closer to 20, but um, I'm going to show you what I did up until 18 years, which was two years ago. And then I'm going to show you like what we've done in the last two years. So you can also see like it's getting better all the time. <laughs> and then um, now I'm making you the beneficiary of my my lifetime of of learning. <laughs> so so here we're going to start. What is your vision, mission, or purpose? This is a question you want to think about for yourself. Because without that question, you're never going to get there. They say, like, you know, if you don't have a, if you don't know where you're trying to go, then you'll never get there because you don't know where you're trying to go. Like a lot of people say, I'm just going with the flow of life. Well, then you'll just end up floating. You know, like you want to have a an aim, you know, and that's what we, I talk about that, the mission. Think about your mission. If you have one, post in the chat if you have a mission. If you feel that you know in your soul, in your heart, that you're here for a purpose and that you have a mission. Because some people don't know that and or maybe they don't know it yet or they, they don't know it fully or they you know so it's okay if you don't know it fully but if you know inside I feel like if you're even here in this room with us you know you have a mission is that right post it in the chat let me know if, if you guys know you have that because that's a starting point that's literally like the seed of creation for me it's what drove me all these years because even as a kid I knew I had a mission. I saw myself as a kid doing something big. I said, I'm supposed to help the world. I'm going to make the difference, you know, and I used to have all these little ways that I did it um, even as a kid. And so if you knew as a kid, then that's how you know. But some people don't know till later and that's okay too. Like maybe you just learning about it sort of now. You're like, wow, I actually do feel like I'm here to make a difference. You know, you see the world, we got wars, we got violence, we got conflict, we got so much you know, unconsciousness, if you know you're here to make a difference, then that's the driving force that's going to help you to get there. And also God's grace, because as you align with God's grace, with that purpose, that's when you see the miracles happen. That's when you see the support show up. And that's when you're going to truly make, make this happen. Let's see. I see Isabel. I'm here to remind people how powerful they truly are and to remember that they can create any reality they desire in life. Oh, yes, Isabel. I love that. Sarah, to help all heal mind, body, and soul. I love that. Beautiful, Sarah. Sam, yes, I know I have a mission, but I don't fully know what it is yet. Okay, amazing, Sam. We're going to help you. Nadia, 
Yes, totally. My mission is to also uplift humanity in a positive way, accelerate sustainability and living, helping the environment thrive. Beautiful, Lori. Yes, working on finishing my book. Oh, beautiful, Lori. Richard, mission is to elevate the human experience. Oh, beautiful. Um, and then Gabby, create a community of healthy, fit, and conscious people. Yes, a beautiful. Ariel, to usher in a time of peace on the planet and um, peace on the planet, beginning with each individual inner peace through yoga, meditation, breath work, and healing. Beautiful, Ariel. Leanne, I wish to help people, especially older people, break free and go ride bikes, kayak, windsurf, just all kinds of things instead of sitting in their homes. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Amazing. I love all of these. Okay, so yeah, anybody who, as we're going along, if you think of more, feel free to share in the chat. So first of all, I want to celebrate you for, for sharing. Whenever you share, what you're actually doing is you are declaring it to the universe and you are manifesting it that much faster, that much quicker, and that much more ease because you now you have all these people in the group that are all rooting for you. And we're all like, yes. And that energy propels you. So great job for just being bold and doing that. Gabby says, to grow happy, healthy kids. Yes, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so we got that. Now we some of you know your mission. Whoever didn't, if you didn't know your mission yet or you didn't put it in the chat, it's totally fine. Just we're going to start working on that, you know, and if and if you're here in this master class, then I know that there is something in you that feels that there that you are here to do something beautiful and big for the world. So it doesn't have to be huge. It can be any level, but it's literally like that seed of inspiration is so important. Let's see, what would you do with your time if you didn't have to work? Now, this question is so important. I asked this question. I was, I'm going to share this for a second. When I was 24, 2005, okay, so I'm old now. I had gone through a year of depression. I was so depressed. And I felt there's no purpose to life. I was working this corporate job. I had back pain from a car accident that I had. Literally, I was like a mess. And for a year, I had no energy. Like I was just, you know, like I couldn't figure out what I was here for. And that energy of not knowing your purpose is actually really draining and depressing. In fact, anytime that we're depressed, usually it's connected to not knowing your purpose. <laughs> because when you're connected to your purpose, it's very energizing. You're like, I know why I'm here. Let's go. You know, and then like that is very like a lot enlivening. So when you're depressed, usually you're thinking about the past, you're dwelling on something negative and you don't don't feel like you have a purpose. And uh, anyway, so I was I was in that place and I, I nothing was helping. And so I remember asking myself this question that I just posed to you a moment ago. If if money was no object, you had all the money you needed. What would you do with your time that would bring you joy? Like this is the key component of like how to know yourself is like not connecting it to money because it's it's easy to get motivated if there's money. You're like, oh yeah, well, if you're paying me a million dollars, anything is cool probably. No. <laughs> no, but like if it's literally no money involved, but you would do it anyway because you love it, because it brings you energy, it gives you joy. Ask yourself that question. Who, who here feels like you know what that is? Post in the chat if you know what that is for you. And it could be more than one thing. Like it, it can be the, the mission that you just shared. It could be many things. But basically, if you can think of, you know, that that thing and, and share it in the chat if you want. But basically, that is part of your purpose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Nadia, kind of. I would involve travel and volunteer work. Oh, beautiful, Nadia. Isabel, I'll be writing and traveling the world. Wow. See, both of those, Sarah, travel, meet people and dance. Yes. Okay, these are perfect. And I'm going to tell you why. Because each one of those that, that was just shared, literally, you could create a whole business with that. You could create a business with that that impacts 100 million people and get them all doing that <laughs> that thing that lights you up. I guarantee 100 million other people, it will light them up too. If it lights you up, it will light them up. You know, and people, they say like, you don't need to be 
the master of something. What you need to be is just a few steps ahead of the people that you're going to help. So if these people are five steps behind you, they're your people, you know, and we're going to be talking about that in a second. But basically, let's see, Gabby says, spend more time at the gym, travel and help people around the world. I'm already doing that. Oh, great, Gabby. So you're already doing. So, okay. So if you're already doing the thing that lights you up, you're on the right path already. So congratulations. And then the other part is if you're, if you're not yet, we're going to talk about that. And then you're going to do that. <laughs> and then you're going to take that out to the masses. So this is literally the key to living in alignment with your purpose. And that is the key to impacting a large amount of people. Because if you're truly passionate and truly living in alignment with your purpose, you and then with the right strategies that I'm going to share with you, there's no way you wouldn't you wouldn't impact a lot of people because people need that medicine that you have and only you have in the way that only you can deliver it when you have that passion. That's the key. Let's see. She says, I'm already doing that. I want more. Let's see, Leanne, helping people get out there and do fun things. But I realize that there would have to be a group class for getting their flow going. So it's not just saying, oh, come, let's bike. Uh, so yeah, it's it's an undertaking. Yeah, so you have to take some steps to get these people to that next level. So that's why they need you. That's why there are coaches in the world. That's why people, you know, um, are going to want to work with you. Okay, so now we go back. Okay, so we asked ourselves the important question. What would you do with your time if you didn't have to work? Now, like I said, this is a major key to know your life purpose. Now, who would you spend your time with? Here's another one. They say that you are the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with. This is a crucial, like, key secret that you got to just, like, remember. Now, think about who do you spend the most time with. Now, also think, who would you spend your time with if you were choosing those five people? And is it the same as the ones that you currently do? That's important. Because if you're currently spending your time with people that don't believe in your dreams, drag you down, make you feel bad, you know, a lot of times your family is like that. Bob says, I would like to travel the world inspiring others to change their lives in meaningful ways. Beautiful, Bob. I love that. Yes. All of this is possible. All of this is possible. Um, so anyway, think about these people that you'd like to be spending your time with. And also, and not just like, you know, let's say you're like, oh, I'd like to spend some time with, you know, Brad Pitt. I mean, that's great. But I mean, it is also you want to think like realistically, like the people, when I say the people, it's also who do you want to be working with? <laughs> like, you know, who are these people that you want to serve? Who are these people that you'd like to collaborate with? That's what we're going to be going through with this. Where would you live? There's another one. Would you live where you live right now if you could live anywhere? It's an important question. Your environment shapes you in so many ways. So you have to be very, very clear on that. Let's see, you're the sum total of five people you spend more time with. Yes, exactly, Suresh. Where do you live? How would you help your family? I love this one because I always think, I always think about how I want to help my family. Like so many things, like there's some of my, my sister, my, my little sister is my best friend. Like I just... I love her so much. I t tomorrow's her birthday. <laughs> I was just getting her flowers online. I got her this bouquet with a big smiley face and all these all these sunflowers. She's a joy. Um, okay, let's see. Bob says he he's in Florida, but it's too hot. I think it's too hot in the in the summer. Yes, Leah, to be seen, but not the ones I'm around at the time. See, yeah, you you might need a new circle. Happy birthday to her. Yes, Nadia. Thank you. I'll tell her that you said that. Okay, so how would you help your family? Where do you want to travel? I know a lot of you said you want to travel. Where? Where do you want to go? Like, the whole world is too big to say it. Everywhere. Like, where would you go first if you had three places, you know? I remember when I was dreaming up, I was doing this film project in the Maldives. I had this vision. I had always wanted to go to the Maldives. I saw it online. I was like, the Maldives looks like next level. I need to go to this beautiful place. And I manifested it. And I'll share how I manifested that. And that actually, that manifestation, that dream to travel combined with my dream to impact combined with a really good idea that I came up with allowed me to enroll a million students into my online courses, that dream. 
that one dream. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's see. Moved. I moved from Isabel says I moved from London to Mallorca, Spain. Oh, beautiful. I've been to Spain so many times. I love it. Leanne, it helped my family, but not changing, just staying the way it is. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you want to travel. What impact would you like to make? Now, this is a really important one. When I say what impact would you like to make, it's not only like, okay, I want to help people. Okay, like in what way? Like I know for me, the like I said in the beginning, I, I read you my mission statement. Like for me, it was always I want to uplift humanity. I want to help humanity heal. That was my driving force. And so think about it for you. It, you know, it could be like some of you said, you want to get them dancing, <laughs> you want but like the core of the energy, like what is, what is this impact that you want to make? And uh, it doesn't have to be too specific yet, but we, we're going to get more and more specific. What charity foundations would you love to support or work with? If you could do that, like that's such a fulfilling part of humanity is to give to those who need it. Um, Bob says Amsterdam, and then he's going to go to Europe. Yes. We got Lori. I send hello fresh for the week for my daughter and granddaughter and it makes her life easier. Oh, I love that. Um, okay, what would you do with your time if you had unlimited support, knowledge, and resources? What would you do with your time if you had that? Right? We talked about a little bit like what would you do with your time if you had no, you know, uh, if you had all the money, but like this is literally like if you had all the support, all the knowledge, all the resources. Like I think about um, you know, I think about Elon Musk and he's like, he's got all that, right? So his whole thing is he wants to send people to Mars. I would not be sending people to Mars if I was the richest man on earth. I would be doing way different stuff than that. So you can see how like, it's really, it's very individual. Some people it's like, oh, send people to Mars. And then other people it's like, I want to feed the homeless. You know, it's like, what is it for you? That's the important part. What is it for you? What legacy would you like to leave behind? This is so critical. Like your legacy, when I say legacy, it's like, what do you want people to remember about your soul, your energy that you did here? That what would that, like, if you could just, whatever that is that you did here while you were alive, what would you like people to remember you for? Because that's a part of your impact that you're going to make that you're going to put time and energy into and that you're going to invest into because that is literally like your whole purpose of being here <laughs> okay so this is me actually this picture it's a very funny picture this is a picture the real picture had um stonehenge in the back but my editor took that off i was like i liked it when stonehenge was. my hair was very short back then anyway this was a nice picture. I'm just going to show you. So I was, um, Bailey did introduce me a bit, but I have worked with every single brand probably in the world, like all the Fortune 500, GoPro. I, I was Nike. I was like worked with everybody, all the media. And I'm going to talk about this because this is a key component, you guys. This is not a, oh, that's cool. This is literally like part of the strategy that you got to learn. And also that will make you be able to get where I got or whatever, anywhere that you want to go. This is part of it. They call it PR. <laughs> PR. PR stands for public relations. And what it means is that in the world, you are interacting with large entities, which is corporations, brands, media, you know, the United Nations, Forbes magazine, you know, like Cosmo, Vogue, these are big, right? All of them have millions and millions and millions of people in their communities. So whenever I was building my brand, I was like, I want to align with the biggest ones out there that I feel are aligned with me, not just anyone, right? I'm not like, just like, oh yeah, like Playboy. I didn't want that one, right? It doesn't align with my soul, but like these ones were good, right? Like NBC, Organic Spa Magazine, Best Buy, <laughs> Barnes and Noble. I was like, who do I want to work with? All of those ones. Why? Because those are the biggest ones and because they have a big reach. And so that if I align with somebody that has a big reach, it's like having a very powerful partner, right? Then they can help you achieve your dreams. We're going to be talking about that. Gabby says, create a company in which people can work for more money and create a better life for their families. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Okay. So we'll, we'll talk more about PR in a bit. So mission, reach 
our, the mission is to reach our fullest potential in life, make a big and lasting impact, achieve massive success, expand to infinite love for all beings, and live a life of freedom and joy at the service of humanity. What do you think? You guys feeling that? Now, this is mine, but you're going to write your own mission statement. You can do whatever you want. Like, this is just the way I, you know, came up with mine. You want to really have your own mission statement. You can use some of mine if you want. Um, okay, so here's my story. For some of you who don't know my story, I'll just say um, I had a really hard sort of start. <laughs> if you don't know, I ever wrote about this in my my first book, Journey to Joyful. But basically, when I was seven, my mother and father were both addicted to drugs. So I ended up basically like an orphan living in foster homes. It was a very hard thing. So basically, I had so much trauma very early, you know, but it also introduced me to something interesting was like, I was living with a lot of strangers. So I got to start to experience that the whole world is my family. <laughs> so there was like that part of it. The, the, so I always try to find the silver lining. Like, okay, I had no family, but I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting. These people are like letting me in their house. Like, that's kind of cool. You know, so I, I had to see the blessing of that. And I was like, wow, okay. And and so when you feel that the world is your family, like humanity is your family, what that does is it gives you this feeling of like, I want to help humanity, right? Like you feel connected to the human family instead of just like, I want to help my family, like these three people. I want to help a billion people if I can. Why? Because humanity is my family. And if you want to help your family, you want to help humanity. Like that's a whole different way of feeling and thinking about life, right? Some people, they're just like, I just want to help my family. They have some kids, they got their mom and dad, and then they just got this, this nuclear family blood relation. For me, I didn't have that very much. So instead, I had the whole world as my family. So I was like, okay, I'm going to help humanity. I got to do this. This is my purpose of life. And uh, I was so traumatized. And I learned that, okay, my trauma was like healing my own trauma was teaching me how to heal other people. So whatever you've had to work, work on yourself is what you will, you know, be prepared and equipped to help other people with. So it's always a gift. Like if you've had to overcome certain challenges, those are the kinds of challenges that you are now fully equipped to help other people overcome. Like if you had a speech impediment and then you learned how to get over that and now you can help people get over their speech impediment, whatever it is, right? And so it's like, even Richard Branson, he was dyslexic. Now he's a billionaire. So he had started a whole foundation to help people kids that are dyslexic and give them empowerment and make them feel inspired that even with dyslexia, you can become very successful and impact the world in a huge way. So like you think about your challenges and then how you overcame that and then like how you can help the world with that in different ways. This is part of the big picture. Anyway, so I was a young girl, had a lot of trauma, but I was also uh, in, in a lot of sports. My parents were into yoga, so I was introduced to yoga very early, but I didn't have it as a full-time like path until when I was 18 years old, I got hit by a car and it damaged my spine and I died for two minutes. I got scoliosis of my spine. I had back pain for years. And uh, it wasn't until I got to full depression at age 24, I was working a corporate job. I felt completely purposeless. I felt dead inside and I and I was depressed for a year and I asked God I said you know how do I get out of this and 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 the question that I asked was what would bring me joy in this in this moment and I was guided to actually enroll into a yoga teacher training that yoga teacher training literally changed my entire life like I went from a dead lifeless purposeless depressed person to I quit my job. I took a huge leap of faith. I had no money. I literally invested into this yoga training. It changed my life so completely. It healed me from the inside out. Within just a few weeks, I was like singing and dancing. I had all this joy. Like literally it was like night and day. Like you wouldn't even recognize me. It was crazy. But like it healed so many things emotionally, like particularly emotionally, but mentally, physically, it was just so healing for me that that enthusiasm for the life change that I received, like projected me or like inspired me to want to share this. I was like, we need to spread this medicine. This is the medicine the world needs. And that was what led me 
to sort of like find all these ways to get it out there, right? So it was like back then, this was before Facebook, before Instagram, before YouTube, literally internet was hardly a thing, you know? <laughs> and so, but like the enthusiasm that I had for this gift that I received from the healing of my soul, <laughs> from my grief, my trauma, I was healing so many things with yoga and meditation and breath work and mantras and, and, and even the vegetarian diet and like selfless service, the things that we had to do were so profound that it changed my life so completely that I just wanted to share it. I was like, I would teach in the beginning, I would teach for free. I would do trades. I would like, I had a lady that would do facials for me and I would teach her yoga. I had a lady that was helping me with my website and I would teach her yoga. Like I had all these little trades going. So I had like a really cool life. I was getting facials every week, massages every week. I had a website getting built and I'm teaching everyone yoga. So I was winning on every side because I love teaching yoga. I love doing yoga. It was like, I love my life. All of a sudden, life is the best life. I had created a dream. And from that enthusiasm, that passion of just literally doing what I loved and like running with it, I attracted so much support. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through this. But so, uh, so as I launched my career as this yoga teacher, it was interesting because most people like at the time, there was no like really full-time yoga teachers. Nobody was making money as a yoga teacher. So I never thought you could, it wasn't something you could just make money as a yoga teacher. Actually, um, almost nobody was making money as a yoga teacher, but I was like, I had this idea. I was like, maybe I could. So I kind of positioned myself as a trainer, like a yoga trainer. So instead of fitness, and with weights, I was like, I'm going to teach people yoga. So I got all these private clients and they all wanted me to teach them yoga. It was like heaven on earth. It was the best thing. And I was also doing um, like healing work as well. So I would do like a combination and I would help people with their nutrition, their diet, get them like healthy. I love doing that. I was like, this is fun. Um, let's see. Gabby says, I moved to the U.S. from Argentina. I understand about feeling humanity as my family. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you can kind of see the timeline of my life. So then, so 24, I took the leap of faith. I started my career. 20, age 25, I launched the first yoga challenge in the world. It was a 30-day yoga challenge. And uh, it was it was the first year YouTube existed. And and my one of my clients was like, let's do videos. Uh, you, you should launch a YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, let's, I, I was just open. I, I had always been, liked video stuff, but I wasn't, I didn't even have a camera. But I was like, yeah, let's do it. And he filmed me doing the sun salutations. He put the video on YouTube. It went viral. So it was like 2006. You guys can see this video. It's on my YouTube right now. 2006. I think it's at 2 million views. Not that many, but the video quality is really bad because it's 20 years old. But basically, it launched the first, I launched the first 30-day yoga challenge online. This literally went viral, reached millions of people. And this was the starting point of the impact was that it came from the core of my enthusiasm of this powerful medicine that I felt the world needs this medicine. Let me get this out there to as many people as I can. So you got to think for yourself, what does that look like for you? Like, what is the medicine that you want to get out there? From there, I got to travel the world. I, I have published books. I got to speak at the United Nations for International Day of Happiness. I spoke at the um, Stanford University. I was inducted to the Happiness Hall of Fame. Literally, like all of these things, I can share with you how I manifested it. But basically, okay, so one of the big things, I, I created a lot of videos. Now, this is a key component that you have to do. Like if you want to reach a lot of people in this time on earth, video is king. That's what they say. Video is king. That means it is the number one most valuable Thing that you can invest into to reach more people. People feel you through your videos. It's much different than any other thing. It's literally making videos. So that's one part, right? You have the videos, but then there's different ways of doing video. There's like social media, there's DVD. I used to make DVDs, also online courses. So there's lots of ways to leverage videos. But videos is literally the key component to you making a massive impact. Write that down because <laughs> you didn't know, like understand this, tattoo it on your brain. This is important. So you can see these are the different videos sort of courses that I made over the years. So I had like, this is a video series, 30 day yoga challenge. 
It was kind of like the yoga version of P90X, 12 DVDs. It also includes five eBooks and uh, different downloads and stuff. And then I made the 30 DYC, 30 day yoga challenge. I have a membership for that in the app. And then I had the 30 DYC, I have it on the iP iPad and the iPhone. And then I have my YouTube channel which uh and then other dvds i made a family yoga dvd series i made the the this is my teacher training yoga teacher training 12 dvd series and then i did this one which was transform your life with yoga which went with my book journey to joyful then i even made a whole line of yoga boards i, I had a paddleboard sponsor with my name on the boards and i traveled the world for five years teaching sup yoga because I was the first person that put any videos online about sup yoga so I literally started the global trend of paddleboard yoga and I and I traveled the world for five years as a professional yoga athlete <laughs> you can see how all of this is related though right it's like one thing led to the next thing it was like me following my joy and my bliss and leveraging videos and getting it out there so, and, and also I'll just mention, I did, you, you see there's other products. So there was leveraging the books that I wrote, app that I created, and also even a yoga board. So like other types of products, you know, is all good. But like the videos is the core. I was a cover of magazines. I was given this award Yogini of the Year by New Life Magazine. I was on all these covers of magazines. I'm just showing you guys to see like how you can grow. So this is, this is also, I did a lot of work with foster children and orphans around the world, bringing my training groups to these incredible children has been transformative for myself and for everyone and very, very powerful and healing. Okay, so let's get into the training. Who, who here is inspired? Post a comment. Who here feels like you're already starting to get a vision for yourself a little bit? We're going to get into it. Okay, the problem. <laughs> you have big dreams and ideas you don't know where to start maybe you feel stuck in a rut or hit a plateau maybe you talk yourself out of opportunities because you don't have the cash maybe you often feel frozen from fear of taking risks perhaps you lack the self-confidence or business skills to move forward or you feel you need a coach or mentor but don't know who to work with these are some things that could hold you back, right? Like think about life, like what keeps you back, right? It's either you don't know what to do, you don't feel like you can do it, or you just talk yourself out of it <laughs> pretty much. So we're going to work through all these together. You don't need to have these limitations. You want to make a big impact, but you feel lost about where to invest your time and energy. You feel weak at marketing, content creation, PR, or sales. You find yourself wasting a lot of time online. You overanalyze everything instead of taking action. You dabble in many things that don't take you far. <laughs> this is a big bro. You know, you try a little here, a little here. That doesn't get you there. You got to go full in all the way. Okay, you want to live a life of freedom, but you have limiting beliefs about money that hold you back. Or you live vicariously through other people's lives. You ever see people living their best life and you're just like looking at their life and being like, wow, beautiful life. Like that's you. You could have that life, whatever it is. It's you already. Like even if you just are inspired by someone living their best life, it means that that life is also available to you. You feel limited to the local area with your career options, perhaps. You don't know where to start or how to successfully make it work. You feel you're missing out on the best that your life has to offer, or you lack the knowledge about how to become free from where you are right now. So these are just different potential things that could be limiting, you know, anybody's life. And so just think to yourself, be honest with yourself. Be like, okay, yeah, it's that. It's that, you know, I'm limiting myself. This is why, you know, like it's not nothing to be embarrassed about. It's literally just being truthful so that you can get out of it. Like that's always the case. So here's the solution. So I call this the Flow State MBA. I'm going to be going through, this is Master Business Apprenticeship. I'm going to be going through how to impact 100 million people. Topics that we'll be covering <laughs> in this apprenticeship. So basically, it's a training that I have. We have an online version. We've helped a lot of people already through this. Like in my community, this is actually 
an, an, an online training that we have. And then, but I'm going to be offering today an opportunity for people who feel like they really need that extra support to work with me privately. So this is something I've never done. Not never. I've done it like twice with a few people, like a couple people, but I, I never like opened this up to a lot of people. Um, and I'm not going to open it up to a lot of people. I'm going to just open it up to very, very few people, but, but it's an option. Mindset training for success. So the first thing that I work with people on is this mindset training for success. Okay. So that's kind of some of the stuff we went through a minute ago, but it's even deeper than that. It's the psychological programs and beliefs that hold you back. And then the ones to replace those with, that's going to get you there, get you where you want to go. Here's a big one, branding. Now, branding is funny. Who here, post in the comments if you know what this word means, branding. Because I'm going to show you a little bit of some of the things that I'm working on for my branding. So you can get a visual, so you can get an understanding of like truly branding. Because branding is the secret sauce. It's, it's like part of the secret sauce. Like there's a lot of secret sauces here. But like one of the secret sauces is your branding. Now branding, what it does, if you think about a brand, who here has a brand that you can think of right away that you like? Like I think of Vitamix. I love their brand. I love their blender. <laughs> I know when I think of Vitamix, I know it's the best blender versus these other blenders. There's other blenders. They're just not as good, but they're, but they're all cool. I've worked with Vitamix as a, as a partner. I love their blender. So it's worth $500 where every other blender is like $50. Why? Because it's so much better. It works better. You could literally blend anything in there and make it amazing. So anyway, branding is where in your mind, when you think of the name of the brand, the like all these good things come to your mind. Like, oh, it's better. Quality is better. It's worth the extra money. That's what all the smart brands know is that when they do a good job at branding, then people will actually see their value is, is higher because they know that the quality is there. And people, you know, you don't want to pay for a bunch of low priced garbage. You want to just invest into the best and get the quality because you don't want to waste your time in life. You don't want to put your money down the toilet, trying a bunch of cheap things. That's one thing that I learned when I hire someone that doesn't charge much, they usually don't help. <laughs> and even some people that do charge a lot, they don't actually help. So it's like, you got to pick the right people, the right and, and part of that's your branding. Like when you work on your branding, you are telling the world, this is what I stand for. So maybe your branding is uh, quality, love and, and passion, uh, health, fitness and helping humanity. Whatever your branding represents, that's like really important. Let's see, we got some brands in here. doTERRA, we got David's Tea, Nama Well. Nice. Yeah, it's great when you when you can think of the brands that, that um that you really believe in because it helps you to realize how important branding is because you can remember their name and like associated with their name is automatically all of these positive things so that's branding okay how to build a brand that represents your passion so my my brand i've had a few different brands over the years but flow state is one of my big brands so flow state i have the trademark for flow state we're making the flow state tv show which i can show you guys a little later some stuff about that but one of my brands is is this flow state brand now, let me see i think i let me see if I can. No. Okay. I was going to show you some of the other stuff. So you can see in this branding, I have my logo. This is part of the branding. So this specific logo, it's important to have these pieces of, of elements. Your logo is a visual and they say it should be something simple enough that you could write it with your finger in the sand. You don't want it to be complicated. It needs to be memorable. Think of the Nike swish, something that's simple, something that people see and they're like, Oh yeah, I know who that is, even without words, right? So my logo, you see that the swirl in the middle, this is a mandala, it's 10 Fibonacci spirals. It has a lot of meaning. To me, this is very significant. This Fibonacci represents infinite expansion and infinite expansion inward and infinite expansion out. So that is what this logo represents. And so it represents um, the impact and also the inner healing and then the outward impact. That's a lot of significance. So I made this logo. I hired someone to create this logo and I love it. And then we have the flow state. So the flow state brand, I have the flow state Institute as the flow state supplements I have the flow state app. I have the flow state yoga. I have the flow state TV show. We're also going to eventually do a flow state um, documentary movie. But anyway, so you can take one brand and just take it really big. There's many ways you can go. 
infinite expansion is my movement. Oh, I love that, Isabel. Amazing. Can't wait to finish this on the replay. We're not going to be sending a replay, guys. So if you leave, uh, sorry, <laughs> try to stay. Okay, so the next one, your USP. So this is key. Your USP is the unique selling proposition. Now, this is something that I learned because I actually have a degree in, in business and marketing from college. And uh, USP is like your secret sauce. So this is literally like Isabel just said, infinite expansion is my movement. USP, it's like, what sets you apart? What makes you different from everyone else? And that's your USP, your unique proposition. So if you think about, we'll go, we'll go to the Vitamix one for a second. Like their unique proposition is that they have the most powerful, high quality blender in the, in the, in the industry, I think. So that's their unique thing. So something else like the Ninja blender, theirs is less expensive. It's not as good. I don't know um, what their unique proposition is because they're less expensive and not as good. Maybe their, their unique proposition is we're less expensive than Vitamix. And some people are buying based on price. Other people are buying based on value and quality. So you're going to appeal to the people that want what you, what you're uniquely your unique selling proposition is. I like people to invest into what I offer um, based on quality and that it's the best in the world, not based on Walmart pricing decisions. Like, oh, this one's a little more than this. Like I could get it over here in India. You know, like that's not where I put myself. But like you could compete on price, you can compete on quality or you can compete on other things. So when you say compete, what it means is what sets you apart. So this is important. We talk a lot about that because it's part of your, you know, you really have to get this down. Now, marketing is how to identify and attract your target audience. So look at this. This is my favorite picture of for marketing. It's like this, this bunny, like, look, she just got everything she needed. She's like, and it all just came to me. <laughs> She's like master. So yeah, this is marketing, like getting what you need to come like flooding over to you. This is the bunny has this one mastered down. Websites. So so this is also important. You know, in this day and age, some people say, oh, you don't really need a website. You have, you know, whatever. You do need a website. Like it definitely sets you apart if you have a good website. And you know, like if you want to have a good brand, you need a website. You know, and so this is like really important. Your it's your website is your online whole blog shop presence. You know, like this is literally like very important. I've had so, lots of different websites over the years. This is one I had on here. I have a lot of different websites. You can look at the flowstate.yoga, I have dashima.org. I had, I had a website for 30 Day Yoga Challenge for many years. I have a website for the Flow State app. I have lots of websites, but like ultimately you got to have a good website. It's got to work well. It's got to be easy to navigate. It's got to be attractive. It's got to represent you. There's lots of things. And, um, this is a really important thing. Social media. Here's another thing. Who here feels like you you understand you're like great at social media? And then who here feels like you definitely could use some help in that? Like post in the chat. Because some people it's natural and other people it's like feels like mystery. <laughs> like what is going on? <laughs> could use some help. Help. Okay. I see some people needing some help. Yeah, it's like ultimately most people it's not like second nature and then some people it is like I actually know people where they just like naturally good at it and it's amazing. I think it's like a mind. It's like a way that the mind works is like understanding social media for me. It wasn't necessarily natural, but I learned it over time and I, I spent a lot of time and money investing into learning it. So I'm still not the best in the whole world. Some of my friends have literally tens of millions of fans. I have like only about like well, if I if I count Cure Joy, then I have 10 million fans, but uh, it depends how you look at it. Um, let's see, Lori, I'm good, but I'm good at ignoring it when I feel like I need a break. Could also use some help, Isabel says. I'm good with showing up, but I get bored with it, <laughs> Isabel. Yeah, you know, social media is one of those, they call it necessary evil in the sense that it's it's important. You have to do it, you know, and, and it's not something like... There's no brands that are really crushing it that don't have a social media presence. It's literally impossible in this day and age to be crushing it as a brand and not have a social media presence because people judge you on that. They go to your social media before they go to your website. They go to see if you have people 
that like you. Why? Because it's social proof. They want to see that you're likable and that you're trustworthy. This is key because it's your, you know, it's your reputation, you know, and that's why it's so important. It's like, you know, if you get reviews on Yelp, <laughs> whatever, you know, these are all social media. Actually, Yelp is social media. All of these things are social media, just different types of social media. But, you know, the most popular ones are like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and stuff. But like, ultimately, you know, all of it's social media. There's lots of kinds of social media. Even like having an Amazon um, seller's account is a social media. I can show you mil millions of kinds of social media that will help your brand outside of the, the main ones that are really, you know, key. Anyway, so this is important. It's also a way to build relationships online and the relationships are the key to everything in your success. So you can see this picture just like I took this with some of my friends that are that are um, influencers in uh, Hawaii and uh, we used to make lots of content together. So YouTube was one of my big platforms, you know, and you can see over the years, like my videos have reached millions of, of views online. Um, this was a, this was one of my first 30 day yoga challenge videos, you know, like I used to make them look a crappy video in my living room with this like, you know, background. It's cute, but like, you know what I mean? Like it didn't even need to be good quality at that time. Nowadays, it's definitely you got to step it up. But um, but basically, you know, the quality is the content, too. It's literally what you say and share is part of the quality. The other part is the video quality and the setup. But like both is important. Um, this is a, a social media platform that I work on Facebook, Ayurveda Cure Joy on their yoga and meditation expert. And we have 9 million fans on this page. You can see some of the stuff I've, I've done different partnerships. This is on YouTube with, um, this is actually discovery channel did a whole video with me. These are some of our videos that I did recently on, um, Cure Joy's Facebook, 800,000 views, 200,000 views. Like it's literally, I had partnerships. This was a friend, Misha, he's from Switzerland. We did videos in Costa Rica um, on his channel. This was uh, some of my videos, reached millions of views on YouTube. This is my Facebook page. I have like almost 300,000 on there. This is a partner of I have on Facebook. They have like 2.3 million, unify.org. This is a post I did on Facebook. This post, I was so inspired by this. I literally was like, wow, this is 1 million children meditating for world peace in Thailand. I was so inspired to see all these children meditating. I posted this on my Facebook. It went viral. It was shared 71,000 times <laughs> and it reached 12 million people. I was like, this is really cool. You know, you never know how many people you get. 12 million people just with this, you know, it was amazing. Um, I used to post inspirational types of stuff too, like this one, travel while you're young and able, don't worry about the money, just make it work. Experience is far more valuable than money ever will be. I like to share things with people that make them realize that that life is precious. So and then like this was another one, I posted this tiger picture, like reached 21,000 people shared this. It's so cute, right? Look at that baby tiger. It's like amazing. Like, but it's funny, right? Like this, it's like a picture, it's like a beautiful picture of a tiger, but like ultimately 21,000 people shared this. You know what I mean? You never know. Look at this. I used to post every full moon and and this was a solstice. 11,000 people shared this. This was a, I had this boyfriend one time and he was a big fitness influencer and we made videos on his page. Hundreds of thousands of views. Um, I did a partnership with Yoga Club Box. They had this like gift box thing, hundreds of thousands of views. Instagram, this is my current Instagram. I've been, you know, you can see on there if you ever follow me on there, lots of stuff. My media, Vogue, Wall Street Journal, articles. This one was talking about how, I, you know, my uh, 30 day yoga challenge sparked a movement and reached 100 million people. This was a, a post that I did with my friend Riva in Kauai. 10,000 people, you know, it's like so cool. You know, you just create content that, that's beautiful, that inspires people and they're like, wow. And then like, they want to share it. And that's how you're going to see yourself grow. You know, like this was my TikTok. I got locked out of this account. But anyway, some of my posts were, were doing really well on there before I got locked out. This is my Twitter. I share something about, about, they call it X now. But anyway, the platform called X is really interesting because 
it's a it's a very good PR platform. So a lot of if you ever get like media, you can tag like Cadillac Arabia. I did an event in Dubai. And Cadillac was there and they tagged me and X Dubai, which is a big a big thing in in there. And then Kahil Times is a really big newspaper in Dubai. The Prince of Dubai was at our yoga class and he was next to me. I literally was next to the Prince of Dubai. He's actually very cute. This was also they did a lot of posts on Twitter or or X or whatever when when I was teaching at this big event. They had ten thousand people in this event, um, in Dubai. I was in Men's Journal, so this was also on Twitter. They shared about that and uh, all sorts of kinds of things like that. You can see Fit Fusion is one of my partnerships with Jillian Michaels, and she posted this. This was a, a video I, I created on YouTube with this guy, Matt Granite, who is a, a NBC a reporter. So I was on all this news all the time. Welcome, Nadia, or you guys. I'm good. Uh, I'm good with showing up, but I get bored with it. I'm looking forward to starting a YouTube channel and sticking with it. So I'm just showing you. Here's an interesting thing about Twitter. You can connect to a lot of celebrities on there. So Twitter, uh, this guy, Romeo Miller, is a big um, TV star. Look, he, he gave me his number. You're actually going to see his number right now. <laughs> we were just connecting and he just sends me his number. <laughs> and I actually am his friend still to this day. <laughs> I met him on Twitter. PR. Okay, so PR is something that we talked about a minute ago. So that was why I was showing you all that stuff of Twitter is because PR is, is like where you connect to brands, you connect to celebrities, you connect to large entities that have millions of reach and they you know as you connect with them they can help you grow like so that's why i showed this earlier i was i was featured in all of these like every single media in the planet probably <laughs> at this point you know and um so this is something that you really want to look at because it's a lot of people don't do this a lot of people don't do pr and um things like that in um that that you ignore that and this is a big element so this is something that I help people with um the other one I actually many years ago I took a course called bye bye boring bio and I learned how to write a really good bio and that helped me so much to get a lot of PR <laughs> and to get a lot of big partnerships so this is also something that I teach so you can see like these are my, this was my bio. I have made this bio partnerships. This is like one of the key elements. And I actually uh, did a big course. I paid thousands of dollars to learn from Brendan Bouchard. who's one of the top um, people in the world in the motivational speaking. And he taught me about the partnerships and, and really collaborations and working relationships have been the cornerstone of how I have been able to like, reach a hundred million or more people. The this alone. Like I'm gonna show you right now. Like for example, Daily Yoga app, they came to me when they had um they didn't have they they weren't currently offering online courses. And they came to me because they wanted me to provide content for their platform. But I said, have you ever thought about offering online courses? And they 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 were open to it. So I I, I consulted for them. I was kind of coaching their team and they um opened up this whole new division on their app that ended up tripling their revenue. You know, they got up to 60 million subscribers for their app. And my course has reached a million students in that app alone, not even including all these other plat platforms. I worked with Zenward, which is Mind Valley. My courses are on there. Fit Fusion, which is Jillian Michaels' platform. Uh, I've reached many on their fitness on demand, which is in like, Marriott hotels, Shangri-La hotels, like um, Crunch Fitness. These are all partnerships that I've worked with. Udemy I had tens of thousands of students on Udemy courses. I was a top seller there. You can see like each one of these is a doorway to impact thousands, tens of thousands, and in some cases, millions just with these partnerships. You see... And so, and then we did like giveaways with Spa Week, for example, giving away my yoga teacher training, retreats, courses. You can see, right? So like you see how it builds and builds, but all of it started in that very beginning where I was like, you got to have your purpose, your mission, your why, and all that. And then it's building the brand, getting clear on your 
audience, this, that, building, building, building. Now we're getting to like where, without this other stuff though, if you didn't have your PR, if you didn't have your social media, if you didn't have your content, then you would never get these partnerships. They will not want to work with you because they only work with people that are in a certain place. You got to be set up properly. You got to be in the right, you know, uh, level for them to be like, yeah, we need you. <laughs> we want you. Let's go. So you got to be that person. You're going to be that person. And I can help you to do that. This is what I'm good at. So these are different partnerships, different. Um, see, like we did this like yoga board uh, giveaway. We did Bali retreat giveaway with different partnerships. Right. And then. Um, so they helped me to promote my retreats. This is another one. I got all these like top yogis. Each one of them had at least a million fans on Instagram. I, I made this calendar and they all promoted it. So these were all some of the ways that I was able to grow on Instagram, you know, like because I was partnering with people that had millions of followers. Sponsorships is another one. So then we would do like yoga challenges and get sponsored or like there's different ways of doing sponsorships. So it's like there's lots of ways to leverage brands and media to achieve your goals and everybody wins because they're all looking for content creators, people that have a message. Content creation. This was another one. Like, look at all this content creation. I just continuously made a lot of content. I always enjoyed it. Like, you got to kind of enjoy some kind of level of content creation. So this is a part of that. Product creation and launching. This is another part. I talked about this earlier. Product creation, where you make courses, you make a book, you make an app, you make videos, you make a, a website, you make a product, you, you you know, like, this is called product creation, you have to do that. And then launching the product, <laughs> launching means getting it out there. So there's like the creation, and then there's the getting it out there. Who here already has a product or a course or anything that you've already done? Post in the comments if you have one already, okay? If you do, if not, totally fine. If you want to work with us, I can help you with that. This is like my literally like strength. <laughs> I'm like the content creation person. Like Isabel does. Oh, good. What kind of content or um, product do you already have, Isabel? If you have a product or or content or course, it's it's a little easier because you already have some of the work done. But if you don't, it's totally fine because you can do it and we'll help you. Like if you want to work with us, at the end, we're going to give you an opportunity to work with us. If you want to work with us, literally, um, this is all possible for you. Online course, but open to so much more. Oh, good. You know, if it's a great course idea that really will help people, just one course is a good starting point. You don't have to go like making like millions of things like me. This is 20 years of stuff, you guys. This is not day one. Day one was like one course. Yeah, this one, 30 Day Yoga Challenge was my first course. Then it branched out into like a whole school and <laughs> lots of stuff, yoga boards, <laughs> an app. But but it started with the, the seed. That's why I started this whole presentation with that whole part about the mission. This is a product creation. I ended up, this was, uh, I got to sell this and distribute this through Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Literally, when you get a good product and you create it, you can get it out there because the world needs that. This was like my best one. I filmed this in the Maldives. I'll tell you the quick story. This is like the best story. I love the story. So I had, like I told you earlier, I had wanted to go to the Maldives and I had just seen it on social media for years. And I was like, oh my God, like what a dream. Post in the chat if you guys are like, I would love to go to Maldives. Maldives is so beautiful. Like you see these pictures and they're like, what? It doesn't even look real so beautiful and so I was always thinking I want to go to Maldives and I remember I was leading one of my yoga teacher trainings um that year in Bali and I, and I was I was like leading everybody on how to manifest their dreams so I was like okay I'm gonna manifest filming the 30-day yoga challenge series that I want to do I wanted to do a new version in the Maldives I was like I'm gonna manifest that with you all and you're all going to manifest whatever you want to do. Every morning we would me like meditate and journal and visualize like what we want to manifest. Put ourselves into the energy to create it, attract it, and make it happen. Literally, within two weeks, within two weeks, I had attracted every single thing that I needed to make that happen. And literally, I had like no budget. I had less than $5,000. I manifested a guy that I knew because uh, I reached out to all the video people that I knew. And, I, and then one of the guys, he actually happened to have a relationship with the Banyan Tree Resort, which is a five-star magical paradise. It's $1,000 a night. He manifested us 
a full sponsorship, a $20,000 full sponsorship to Oceanfront Villas. We each had our own house and it was my birthday. They even gave us a, a water uh, plane, like a seaplane. So they flew us on the seaplane. On my birthday, they took me on a, in the sunrise, on a boat to a sandbank island in the middle of the ocean. It was literally like best dream. It was so beautiful. Everything, it was actually better than I had a dreamed. It was so cool. But anyway, so that happened. I manifested that and then I filmed that video series and it turned out so beautiful. It was literally like my best one I ever made because it was such high quality. The guy did such a great job. And we ended up getting a partnership with QVC and they launched my videos on QVC on Black Friday with Amazon, Kindle, Fire, and Xbox and Blu-ray TV. They sold 75,000 units of Xbox in one hour because the quality of those videos were so good. It looked really good on the Blu-ray TV. And they were like, wow, everyone's buying it because they thought it was like the TV that was so good. But it was really the videos. <laughs> I mean, the TV is good too. But the point is, Literally, all these things manifested later. But like I, I had this dream. The dream started with, oh my God, I want to make a new version of the 30 day yoga challenge. I want to film it in a beautiful location. I want to go to the Maldives. I literally was like, okay, this is it. And I created it, made it happen, manifested it. And literally that video course is the video course that has impacted a million, 1 million students enrolled at least into that course. And it started with the dream. Are the Maldives videos still available? Yes, they are. They're in my app. They're in the Flow State app. If you go to the flowstate.app, they're in the 30 Day Yoga Challenge course. They're in my yoga teacher training. It's I put those videos everywhere because they look so good. I'm like, these videos are great. But then it's not just because they look good. They were really good. Like actually my whole series was really well organized. Every video was specifically like one was for your neck healing. One is for your back. One is for your core. One is for strength. One is for power. One is for relaxing you know it has like a very well-rounded intention with that series so that's how it was also the intention and the way that I set up the outline of the content because I wanted to make sure that this content would be accessible to even beginners because I know if you want to reach a million people you need to make something that a lot of people can do you don't want to make something so advanced that like nobody can do it because you're not going to reach as many people so I was like okay I wanted to make it where it's you know, accessible. So anyway, that's how that manifested. It was literally like such a cool dream. Okay, let's keep going. So that was this. Um, yeah, and if you guys are have done any of my courses or like my yoga teacher training, this is in there. And you can also see I made a DVD series. So then we also got that distributed, like I said, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. So I had like distribution for the DVDs. They were sold in stores and um, and online. Okay. Product distribution. That's what I was talking about now. So you can see Amazon, we have the DVDs here and Walmart. You can see my DVDs there. Then like you see target, all the DVDs, right? They were selling them everywhere. Then <laughs> this was like Udemy, but Udemy is a platform that I used to be like one of the top creators on there and, um, top selling course, um, uh, course creator. And so my courses on there reached, that, I think, 14,000. I made over six figures on there. You can see, like, you know, this is also, you make money with this. It's not like, oh, yeah, I do it all for free. It's literally like a whole way of creating your life. <laughs> like, it's online. So a lot of it you can do from anywhere. That's why I was able to travel the world for so long. You know, I led retreats, travel the world, do this, filming in beautiful spots. <laughs> like, it's literally a lifestyle. Um Isabel says, I think I signed up for this course many years ago. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> yeah, I made that course in 2015. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I almost took a job out there many years ago, but I ended up not taking it. Oh. <laughs> um, so this is uh, in the course that I have for this business uh, apprenticeship. I actually have you also teach you how to edit your own videos in iMovie. So this is cool because you can also learn, you know, like how to do some of this yourself so that you don't have to like have a lot of money to hire everybody. But in the beginning, it's also good to outsource and hire people. So this is a platform that I've worked with a lot called Upwork. Um, and this is where I've hired different people to help me. Also, another one called Fiverr. You can find great designers, like the, some of the people that that I hired for my websites, I've gotten on Fiverr. I had one of my favorite websites, actually, brightfuture.org. 
I got the designer on Fiverr and they made this site for like a less than like a thousand bucks, you know, and it was, it's like a whole Shopify custom site. It's really nice. So you can get good people to work for you and help you with these things to make it look really good. Um, producing and leading retreats. This is a whole another way. Like for those of you who are like, I want to travel. I want to do this now. This is such a great way to connect with people, lead retreats. So these are some of my retreats that I had over the years. And um, it's just such a good thing to do if you love to travel. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this presentation. So success habits. I'm going to just go through a few of these with you all. Um, and seven keys to your success. Number one, I talked about this a bit ago, know your why. So your why is literally like your, your mission, your purpose. Like, why are you going to do this? Why are you driven to make an impact? And that's important because if you have a strong enough why, the how is easy and uh, you'll figure it out. It'll come and you'll you'll find the right people to help you and you'll make this a huge success beyond your wildest dreams. Like some of the things that I just shared with you, literally, I couldn't have dreamed it better. Like I could not have dreamed the thing better about the Maldives thing that ended up with a million people in that course. I didn't even expect that. Like, <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't expect getting on QVC. I did, you know, like there were things about how that manifested that just were beyond my wildest imagination. And it's because I was open to all infinite possibilities and I knew my why. And my why was I want to help people. I want to get them this medicine, this energy that I know can heal you because it healed me. It healed millions of my students. I want to get this out there to people. And because I had that deep knowing and that passion and enthusiasm, the universe is like, here you go. Lined it up. Synchronicity left and right. And that's what led to all of this, all of this stuff. Most people, you guys are like amongst a very select group of people that know this, this full story. That's why I'm doing this masterclass because not everybody knows. Okay. So know your why. Knowledge is power. Number two. So when I say knowledge is power, what I'm talking about very specifically is you need to know what to do. <laughs> it's one thing to be like, I want to do this thing, but it's like, you need to learn. And, and knowledge means learning. It means to actually study, to learn what you need to do, right? Or find people that know and get them to help you. <laughs> you can't know everything. That's why I showed you. You can, you can find some people on Fiverr to make your website. You don't need to know how to make websites. You can find someone. It, you know, you don't have to know how to do all these things. You can hire a coach. You can hire, you can work with us and we'll help you to do this. We'll hold your hand and we'll help you. And literally, I wish I had somebody helping me in the beginning, but I'll tell you that it took me longer because I didn't, but I learned a lot on the way. Knowledge is power. You got to get with that knowledge or find people that have it. Abundance consciousness. This is literally, I can't emphasize this enough. I want to just go and talk about this for a second. Abundance consciousness. Post in the chat if you know what that means. Abundance consciousness. I had so much poverty consciousness as a young person because my parents didn't have any money. And I grew up in foster care. So I didn't even have parents, basically. So I had this like really hard uh, relationship towards abundance never feeling like I that there was enough right so scarcity means you don't feel like there's enough so the opposite of that is abundance consciousness literally it's a feeling that you know that there's always more than enough that is a total opposite remember what we talked about in the very beginning of this where it was like you know you got to change a lot of things about who you are in order to manifest a new reality this is one of them like you have to feel, not just think, but feel that there's more than enough always. And when you feel that there isn't enough where you, you feel contracting around the, like if someone says, oh, it's $20,000, you like contract inside and go, oh, it's so expensive. Like I could never afford that and shut down. That's poverty consciousness. That's the energy that says, I don't have enough. There's not enough. I'll never be able to afford it. I'm going to stay stuck because of that. And the abundance consciousness is like, I know I can make, I can, I can find the money. I, the money there's infinite amount of abundance in the world. I'm going to 
get it. I'm going to get the money or whatever, you know, to, to make the video series. Like my abundance consciousness helped me to manifest that video series. I only had $5,000 in the bank. <laughs> I manifested a million students out of that <laughs> at that time. That ended up taking much more money down the road for the editing and all this stuff. But basically, you know, like ultimately, like my, my abundance consciousness allowed me to manifest that because at the time I said, I'm going to make it happen no matter what. I know I can manifest this. I want to make this happen because I want to make this kind of impact because that's my purpose of life. It's my driving force of my soul. I have to do this. So basically, with that abundance consciousness, you can attract the resources. You can make things happen because you can manifest it out of thin air, <laughs> like I did, like a lot of people do. Let's see. People say, be, feel, no. Yes, Gabby, you're still working on it. Yeah. So the more you work on it, this is one of the secrets to the abundance thing. It's like when you see and feel yourself contract around money, you have to notice it and breathe and relax. And like, you have to like make yourself feel okay. It's okay that it's just no, noticing is the first step. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm contracting again. Or, you know, like, here's a big one, you know, you ever eaten around somebody that has scarcity consciousness. So they like, they always want to like, eat first like it's like as if the money the food's all going to be gone and they want to make sure they get enough on their plate <laughs> you know what I mean this is a scarcity consciousness abundance consciousness is like I know there'll be more money, more food later so even if even if I don't even get dinner today I'm fine <laughs> but I'm gonna always have a, I'm always have enough I always have what I need that feeling that like I'm infinitely provided for I always have what I need God is always abundantly supporting you that's an energy. And that's something that's crucial to manifesting your dreams. Huge, huge part. Number three. Okay. Number four, fortune favors the brave. Now this is an important one. I want to just say this because fortune, when I say fortune, what I mean is like to be fortunate, to be lucky, like being lucky is actually a big part of that is just being courageous, like taking that step, that leap of faith. I told you guys, several different ways that I took leaps of faith. Like when I did my first yoga training and I was depressed and I, I quit my job, I had nothing in the bank and I took this huge leap of faith to follow my heart and look where it led me. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't just where it led me, look where it led the energy that God put in me so that I could help a hundred million people with that leap of faith. When I had nothing in the bank and I had no clue of what I was doing, <laughs> I said, I'm going to do this. So basically, this energy of brave, brave, courageous, leaps of faith, doing what you know your heart is meant to do, and following that guidance that you have inside. Authentic intention to serve. This is so critical. When I say authentic intention to serve, you know, I don't know if you guys know people but you can feel it when somebody they're they're really just about the money versus where they really just want to help people. And you know what's interesting is that the people that really just want to help people tend to actually attract more money or like if you do it right. Now you can also go broke just helping people if you don't have a good monetization strategy. So you have to do both. You have to be savvy and that's what we teach. But the authentic intention to serve means that your soul deep desire wants to help the world that's the first ground like level intention and then from there above that is okay how am i going to do that and where are the resources and uh okay let's go <laughs> but step one intention to serve and then number six take massive action who here sees that from this presentation that i've shared with you today like I took some action, right? Like I was not sitting there hoping life will help me out. Like I wasn't like, oh, maybe it'll just happen, <laughs> right? You can tell I did stuff. I was like, even just the active meditations to manifest things, like to manifest the Maldives trip, to manifest the money to do the thing, to manifest my DVDs, to manifest any of it. Like there was an intention, there was a clear practice that I was doing. I was doing practices of reprogramming my consciousness around abundance or practices around visualizing and, and feeling how it would feel to achieve what I want to create. Like that is crucial. Like 
you can't just be like, oh, let's see how it goes. Because if you do, you'll just go wherever it goes. But like, if you want something, be specific. The more specific you can be, the more likely you're going to manifest that. And so it's really important. Take massive action, meaning like do, do the work. Yeah. You know, like even if it's just hire someone on Fiverr to make your website, you got to do that. It won't do itself. <laughs> so action is the key to this kind of thing. Um, mindset of a winner. Mindset of a winner. I, I want to say something about that really quick. It's it's really in, it goes hand in hand with everything else we've talked about. Mindset of a winner is literally knowing that you will win. <laughs> like if you're a mindset of a loser, you're like, I might fail. <laughs> or you might, it, it probably won't. Here's the loser mentality. It won't work out for me. I can't do that. It, you know, those things are only for Dashima because of, she's something, whoever. You know, people make up excuses why it'll work for her, but not me. You know what I'm saying? And if you do that, you'll never succeed. You have to have the confidence in your soul, in your mission, in your purpose, in your energy, in God, in the support of God, supporting you in your mission and your purpose, that it'll work out for you. Mindset of a winner is you start out already knowing you're going to win. Easy? Because if you start out with any doubts, like, oh, I might just fail and lose and everything will just go to hell and then I'll lose all my money and I'm going to end up broke and homeless. Okay, don't even try because that's going nowhere. And then you're just going to manifest that. Like, okay, if that's really what your mind is thinking, it probably will happen. So then don't join us because we like people that have the mindset of a winner that's like, we're going to do this. Like, let's go. And even if you have hard days where you're like, I don't know, today's a hard day. That's where having a team helps. That's where having a coach helps. That's where having a community helps. Because then you're having a hard day. They lift you up. You lift each other up. You inspire each other. That's what gets you through the hard times because everybody has hard times. Everybody. And that's okay. <laughs> Part of it. And that's what makes you stronger. So you have to have that. But like having a community, a coach, a team, this is when you, you rise to your greatness. You rise into a powerful strength that you didn't have before. Okay. That's number seven. And then I'm going to just share with you guys a few success stories. So these are a few of my clients that I had. Now, Jasmine, for example, she's from New York. She uh, she was already a yoga teacher when she, she came to me. She wanted to take her career to the next level. And she actually, um, she said, I emancipated her, meaning she felt liberated by my, by my coaching because literally I showed her all these things she could do. She opened her own yoga studio. She, she always wanted to lead retreats, but she held herself back. So I literally liberated her from that. She, she led her first retreat in Mexico sold out in like a week. And she had, no, she didn't think she was going to get anybody to sign up. She got so many people signing up. And then she started leading retreats in Bali. She led retreat in Italy. Like she did, ended up, she ended up opening her own yoga school. I helped her with all of this. Literally, like she was on the, in yoga journal magazine as a bra model. And she didn't even have big boobs. Like she's just like a girl. Like so funny, right? Literally like the things that she would have never thought were possible. And she ended up manifesting it out. Like Tuscany retreat, all these people coming to her classes. This was from me coaching her. And she was a huge success. This is another one, Alicia. Same thing. She was also, she was a yoga teacher before she came to me. Now, you don't have to be a yoga teacher at all if you want to train with me. I have worked with people who have their own raw chocolate brand or who, who have uh, different types of stuff. Like, you know, many, many things like Renan. I was just working with him to help him launch the Tesla alignment treatment with his Tesla technology. Like, I worked with a lot of different things. I just happen to have, you know, a number of people that also, you know, in my similar field that wanted me to help them. And I did look at, look at Alicia. She's so pretty. She was on the cover of this magazine. They did a whole feature on her. She led retreats all over the world. She was doing her sup yoga there too. Look at this. She did her first online course. She did great. Her video reached a million people. Her videos on, on YouTube have reached millions of people. If you go to Alicia yoga, this is Alicia. And I took this photo of her when she was in Maui and uh, she was featured in this magazine. Like she did great. She was a very good student because she just took action and she did great. Dave's another example. Dave trained with me and uh, I helped him launch his yoga school. I helped him launch his website, his social media. He started working with um, these motocross athletes. He was featured in a movie, a documentary. He had a huge transformation and he even launched his own clothing line. So Dave was a great 
example as well. So men, women, lots of different types. This is my another one. Bukhara, she had a different business. She was a, an esthetician. So I helped her with, uh, she started her own business. She had a at-home spa. She was featured in CBS um, News and uh, different magazines and stuff. She she started her own art line of artwork for, for uh, wellness businesses. And she, she just did really well. Like I was so proud of her. And um, Ingrid's another one. She was from Peru. I She wanted to make an online course for pregnancy. When she was pregnant, we filmed a whole video series in Spanish for prenatal or for pregnant women. And uh, she's just a wonderful, she started working with Lululemon. She did really well. Um, I didn't include some of the most recent ones with Renan and his Tesla technology. He he made like, in, in the first launch, you know, he got literally millions of people all over the world interested in this thing that, that I helped him with and also um yeah six figure launch and stuff so he did really well so lots of good success here are you ready to be the next success story so here's the fork in the road right you're gonna choose we have a few different options now what I what I was thinking about is how you know, a lot of people go to college to learn business or to, have, you know, to get to this kind of, I don't know, they don't really teach you anything in college about how to have your own business. It's kind of interesting. Um, but so, for example, you could go to college to get an MBA, which is a mass, uh, master's in business administration. That's what they call MBA in college. And it's six or seven years because you need a bachelor's plus two to three more years. So it's like six or seven years of time to do that MBA. And then it's very outdated. They don't teach you how to run your own business. They teach you how to be an employee, <laughs> but they teach you business stuff, but they don't teach you how to run your own business. They don't do any hands-on coaching. There's no guarantee. And to go to college to get an MBA, it's about sixty dollars to $150,000. Who here knows somebody with an MBA? My sister has an MBA. She doesn't own her own business. You know what I mean? They, they go to school for this. Nobody, Almost nobody that has an MBA owns their own business. And most of them never make a lot of money or very much impact. It's a very strange thing. But this is the old paradigm. So I created my own MBA. I call it Master Business Apprenticeship. So that's where you work with me. Basically, I am a person that has learned business and done it myself and helped people with it for 20 years. You don't need to do seven years of school and pay $150,000 to a university. It doesn't require all that. You can see what it requires. I just gave you the blueprint. <laughs> you know, I've done this for 18 to 20 years. You know, I've I, literally working with me will save you a million dollars because excuse me, I've invested a million dollars into my education into 20 years of learning over the years. So you learn a million dollars of education if you join our join our community, join our group and uh, do this program with the MBA. We call it Flow State MBA. So MBA stands for Master Business Apprenticeship. So it's it's a 60 hour course and uh, it's online. We have a few options actually. I'm gonna show you three options. You can do the online, which is everything that we just went over. I literally have videos of each one of those topics and you watch the whole thing and it tells you what to do. And then you do it. And then we have every week a group session like this one that we have right now, where you can ask me questions. So you can do it all online. That's the um, one way. And you go at your own pace. You do get the group coaching. So you can ask questions every week as you're going through it. It does require you to be a little bit more disciplined because you're going to have to make yourself do it. <laughs> That's the key. But it's really effective. I had lots of people do it that way. Um, almost a thousand people have done it that way. And basically all of the things that we covered today is in there you know, and um, you'll save yourself 18 years of time and a million dollars of investment that I put into learning all this. And we have a satisfaction guarantee. So if you, if you decide to do the online training and you, within the first week, you're like, I'm not going to do it. You can get your money back. So that's our guarantee. Um, but after that, you can't get your money back because you're going to have done the course already. You can't just get your money back. You know, you have to, after the first week, you decide. And then if you say, okay, I'm not going to do it. Fine. But I hope you do it because you can make a huge impact. Like your sole purpose is like literally right here. It's it's available to you. We even have financing or payment plans available for you to make that even more accessible. And instead of, you know, $150,000 or anything, it's it's literally like 
not not even a, a high price. So we also have VIP options if you want to attend the live training retreat, which we will have uh, an upgrade version for people who want to do like a live training retreat. So the, so we have the three options. So the first one is that one, the online group. So it has lifetime access to the online and it has weekly group coaching calls where you can ask questions. The value of that's 10,000. My personal review and help with your business vision in the group. So as you're in the group going through this, I'll be happy to work with anybody, any one of you that joins to give you feedback, give you ideas, you know, point you in the right direction um, all throughout, even connections if it will help with different things. It also includes the 300 hour online yoga training. So this is another $5,000 value that you can. So if you don't have your 500 hour yoga training or your 300 hour, you can get that here. Certified completely yoga Alliance international certification. And this is the same training that I worked with the U S department of defense to help the military heal from PTSD. So it helps healing trauma too. It's like a very high level training and that's included here. And uh, it has a six, seven figure business blueprint, which is really a lot of what we just walked through this this whole um, presentation that I shared with you. That's included. And, and everybody who signs up today for this, for any of the programs, but specifically for this online group one, you're going to get a one hour private strategy session with me. So I'm going to sit with you. We're going to map out your vision of your business. And that I think will be the key to you having the greatest success because sometimes that's the hard part. It's like, where do I really want to go? And really like getting clear on that part because the rest of it's just executing the doing, <laughs> the action. But anyway, we'll do that. That's included as a bonus. It's usually 2,500. So the full value of this is 20,000. We only have five spots available. And today only the whole thing is 5,000 for all of it. And this is lifetime access, including the one hour strategy session with me. So I'm going to help you with that. And that is uh, how you're going to do this is if you want to be considered for one of those five spots, Chirag, who's here in the group, he's going to put his link in the chat. Chirag, are you here? Put your link in the chat and you guys can schedule a call with Chirag. Chirag is my, he's on my team. He's amazing. I love him. He actually... He's one of the smartest business people. He's really, really, but I love his heart. His heart is so good. And he was, he was the one that was encouraging me to do more, like to, to offer this to you guys. Cause I was like working on my show, my TV show. And, and he was like, he want, he kept pushing me. He's like, I want to do it. Like do some more of your business coaching. And I was like, okay, fine. So you can thank Chirag. <laughs> Chirag, put your link in the thing. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's Chirag. Schedule a call with Chirag and he's going to um, be able to tell you, first of all, if there's a spot, because there's only five spots. And then I'm going to show you the other two options. These other two options are really only for people who know that you need more hands-on support. Like if you're like, online is great, but you feel in your heart that you might not do it if it wasn't, if you didn't have someone holding your hand more and you want more support, like you want me to help you more, like every week, private coaching. This is something I literally almost never do. In fact, only five people in my life have I given this amount of private time to, um, to help with your business. But it's every week we are going to meet every single week and we're going to not only map out your business, but we're going to do it together. And in that, I also can give you a lot more connections. I can help you, you know, like if you want introductions, like with the PR part, like there's so many pieces to this that even just like some of those with me helping you more fully can like take you to the stratosphere and also get you there faster because sometimes you're doing it on your own. It's harder. You know, I know I did it on my own. It took me 18 years, <laughs> but it won't take you 18 years because now you have the roadmap and you have the course and you're going to have the weekly live calls and you're going to have me there regardless, even if you just do the first one. But the second option is if you want me helping you, like you want me every week on your team and I'm going to um, give that as an option too. So this is option two. Let me go back to that. So option two, it includes everything from option one Oh yeah, actually option three, uh, I'll skip that. I'm gonna go back to option two. That one is the retreat. Option two uh, is the retreat. I'm gonna go back to that. Option three is everything from the online 
plus what I call VIP laser launch. It means that I'm going to help you. I'm going to, every week we meet for like at least one hour. We're going to do everything together. You're going to do your homework, doing the action that needs to get done, but we're going to come back together. And like, when you get stuck or when you like fall off the wagon, like I'm putting you back on and you're going to take it to the next level. Like this part, I think for some people is going to make or break whether or not you really reach those goals because a lot of people, life gets in the way, you know? And if you feel like in your heart, that's like kind of like, you know yourself, you're like, yeah, I need that extra help. Then this option is for you. You can talk to Chirag about this. So basically it includes everything that was in option one, plus personal introduction to potential partners and sponsors. Like if, if you're in a complimentary field that I can help you in that opportunity to earn money immediately. I will teach you how to kickstart your earnings by creating and launching your high ticket offer. Now, this is important. Like if you're a coach, if you have an online course, if you have a product, this is where, you know, we'll probably focus right away because we want to like launch that, you know, and that's really something that, that I can help with. So basically that's where we'll focus a lot in the beginning, just so you start getting money coming in pretty, pretty soon right away. Launching your high ticket offer program stack, Meaning like you're going to create a program. So if you have an online course, we're going to create it beyond a course into a program. So program is like you take your course, then you bundle it with more stuff like a coaching and this and that. Kind of like what I'm saying. It's like my first one is the course. This option is the program. Program is coach, course plus coaching and maybe products too. Like you bundle things together and maybe a retreat. Now you have a full program and that's how you can charge more, you're also going to help people more. You're going to be able to offer more in-depth help for them. So this is a way to just kind of take your career to a higher level, expert level. You can also, within this, I can help you if you're working on a book. I can help you if you're working on various things. But the other thing here I want to emphasize that's really big, <laughs> this is like huge, is that because we're working on this TV show, if you have a product, it doesn't work if you're if you only have online courses or if you only have coaching. But if you have a physical product that's impact driven, meaning that it's to make the world a better place, if it fits with our vision for the show, we could start to work on your product, getting it ready to potentially present it to be considered for the show. So that is a huge value. Like that's like 50 to a hundred thousand dollar value right there. Like we're not really offering that to almost anybody, but if you end up doing option three for this laser coach thing and you have a product that might be a good fit, then I would do that with you only because also it's a good thing for the show. If you have a great product, like if it really is a fit, then it'll be a perfect thing. But um, if you don't, maybe you'll develop one, but you still have to get it to a certain place where the product is ready to be presented on that level. Like you're never going to like, Hey, I just made this product yesterday and get it on a show. It's got to be already at to a good level. So we're going to work together if that's something that's a part of your mission or your vision of what you want to do. Okay. So that, so this whole thing is like over a hundred thousand dollar value. So book the consultation with Chirag. He'll be able to tell you if there's a spot for you in this, there's literally five spots for the year maximum in this. So the only a few people will be able to do this, but you can talk to them and see if there's a spot for you, see if it's a good fit for you, both financially and or with what you're trying to do. Because it's not for everybody, but this is for those people that want that more personal handholding and, and a lot more support. So this is option two. And then I forgot to say option two is actually the, the third one. This one is if you want to do a live group retreat to create your content. So if you want to film a course, if you want to create or, or even write a book, but I would say write a book and or film a course and also photos. If you're like into like maybe you want to write, create a training manual, things like that. It's called a content creator retreat. So basically we're going to get together. It's either going to be in Bali, Costa Rica, Hawaii, and some are beautiful <laughs> with a film group and you're going to create your course and uh, film it and um, I'll help you. And that's really something that I'm sort of like the master level in this. So this is a very high level opportunity to be able to do that with me. But this is where, like I said, with the Maldives thing, I mean, when you create a really good course, you can, that's where your impact is like exponentially going to go to another level because then combine that with the strategies that I just shared to you throughout this whole presentation about getting it out there. 
that's when you're going to see the impact exponential. Because like I said, with my Maldives course, I produced that course. And then, I, I mean, I didn't really like plan to get a million people in that course, but I did plan to get it out there in a big way. I was like, I'm going to make it a big way. So I actually worked at that. I actively daily had consistent effort towards connecting with partnerships in order to get that out there in a bigger way. So that's what I would do if you guys end up wanting to do the retreat content creator retreat. And that's a different type of coaching. The other one is more, we'll be on zoom. It'll be an hour a week for 12 weeks. We're going to help you launch your thing. The other one is help you create your thing. So you could actually do both. I mean, you could do the retreat and the, and the other one, but it's really depending on where you see yourself. You want to create a course, you want to um, launch a business, like you kind of decide and there's an option. You can do all of these like all in one. Um, it's a, if it's a higher investment, but if you have the capital, um, all of them are smart if you can do it or you can do one at a time and take it as fast or as slow as you feel like you want to. Okay, we're coming to the end now. I just want to kind of let you guys ask questions if you want um, at this point. So the Flow State MBA will help you achieve your mission, reach your goals and create the life of your dreams by providing a real world hands-on practical education you can learn online at your own pace to skyrocket your success and finally break through the barrier to achieve your highest potential. And I really mean this. Like, as you can see, I did this. It's not like, oh, I have this idea that I'm going to help you. No, this is what I did. And I'm going to show you and I'm going to help you if you want me to. What if you never had to worry about lacking the skills to attract your ideal market? How would you feel if this, if you were able to do this and like you had this kind of help? How would that change your life? After what I just showed you, can you see how a proven system could support your vision? Leave a leave a comment in the chat. Who here feels like having this kind of guidance and coaching and support would would be like you see how that will save you a decade or more? <laughs> Who here can see that? Um I have a client um, so I need to go. You're welcome. Have a blessed day, Isabel. This would be super awesome for sure. Yes, Isabel. You know, the bottom line is I always wish that I had somebody that helped me, but actually I, I mostly did it on my own. So, but now that's why I'm motivated to help people that, that want to, that want to make a big impact and that know you have a message and that know in your soul, you're meant to get it out there. If so, my goal today is not to sell you on this training tool or concepts like that. This is important. It, it works plain and simple. You can see that there's no questions. It works. And I would bet that if you let me train you, it could literally change your business and life overnight. Like it did for many of my clients and also for myself. Like this was literally like I had a dream to make impact. This was the roadmap on how I got there. And I'm going to share that and I'm going to be able to help you with that. So my last question, do you want to increase your business and expand your message to millions worldwide? I know that once my system is fully implemented into your business and life, you'll reach millions of people with your message, 10x your financial success, and be able to create a life of freedom and impact. And for those of you who want to travel, for sure. <laughs> These results are not being pulled out of thin air. I am basing this on my personal experience, my clients' experiences, and the fact that since 2005, I've been training people just like you how to get crazy results for your life and business. The best way to see if my program is a perfect fit is for you to roll up roll up your sleeves, get on the phone, and just talk to Chirag. You can uh, book the call. You can see the link there. It's calendly.com, Chirag. So I'm going to repost this for anybody who... Let me see. Make sure that everybody has it. Um, book the call now. And I want you all to at least have an opportunity to talk to Chirag about your goals. Talk to him about your dreams. Talk to him about the options that we have. And we have payment plans. We have financing. We have lots of things to make it available to you. If for any reason your mind went into contraction around investing into something like Really just go back to relaxing into knowing infinite abundance is available. The universe will support you. And literally, you're here to make an impact. That's that's the next step for you here. There are a few conditions that you need to be aware of. First, over the next 30 days, we're only working with a small handful of clients. Like I said, I'm only able to work with five 
for a year. <laughs> like I literally never do. I really don't do this very often. So I'm only going to have five people. So book the call, talk to truck, see if you can be one of those five. It's really also based on, um, let's see, do you forever get royalties on your products and sponsorships? You do get royalties on your products. Sponsorships, not always. Like sponsorships, you get royalties only as long as you stay in a partnership with the sponsor. So, but yes, for products, you can get royalties forever. Actually, I still get royalties on some of my partnerships, like from my courses, like even on Udemy, <laughs> like from 15 years, you know, and like FitFusion or Allison.com. I mean, I have like Adam's Academy, like Mind Valley, like so many of them, they send you money. Um, Daily Yoga app, it's it's auto, auto de debit or auto they call it direct deposit. <laughs> they send it to the account. Okay. So, and I've got a decent sized team, but since we work one on one in a live setting, we have to cap it off. So, we only work with people who we think will see results. You must have what it takes. So, we have a simple application process. All you have to do is book the call with Chirag in the link. Post in the chat if you're gonna if you're gonna do the call and, and if you feel like this is a fit for you, because to me, it's not for everybody. I understand that. And that's why I'm only doing this for a few people anyway, because there are people that want to do something big, but they talk themselves out of it. And there are people who know that you're here to do something big and you just need the help and the support on how to get there. So if you are that second person, if you're like, I know I'm here to do something big, I just need that extra support guidance and help to get there. This is for you. This is literally the reason I'm doing that. And I really believe in the oneness of it all in the sense that, you know, there's 8 billion people on the planet and we need all of us to do our part to help them. You guys see there's wars, there's violence, there's all this terrible stuff. Like for you to make a positive impact into humanity is literally your responsibility <laughs> as a human on the planet right now. If you can, if you can do it, and if you want to, and if you know it's in your heart and soul to, then that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I'm here to support you to make this a reality for you, but also to benefit humanity. We want you to be our next major case study and wildly profitable success story. So this is the other reason. So here's the deal. Click the link uh, that I put in the chat, uh, calendly.com forward slash tragzone77 forward slash flow state yoga. Click that link and then it'll open a simple calendar. Just book a time on his calendar. And um, there'll be a few questions to answer about your business so you can get a good feel for you about where you're at before you hop on the call after you book the time um then you're going to meet with him on zoom and see if there's a good fit for us to work together but once you choose whichever one that you do um you're going to do a an onboarding with me so everybody whether you just do the online course option or the full retreat content creation or other option that um, you're going to do onboarding with me and we're going to map out your whole vision right away, like this week, like as soon as you get going. So after the call, when we do that, one of two things will happen. Scenario number one, this is most likely to occur. You'll say, wow, this is amazing. I want to take it to the next level. And then we talk about what to do next. Simple. Scenario number two, unlikely, you'll say, "I, you know, this is just isn't what I thought it would be. And I was hoping for something else. In the unlikely event that scenario number two occurs, we will send you the free gift no matter what. The Reinvent Yourself Self-Hypnosis Audio Download. It's valued at $47. It's literally like a really great thing to just reprogram your consciousness to see the new version of you that you're creating. And so you'll get that regardless. You'll get this hypnosis audio for free, no strings attached. It's a way of saying thanks for reaching out and taking your time to learn how you can impact millions and make the world a better place with us. That's how confident I am about what we have to teach and show you on the call. You'll either get totally amazed, join our team and skyrocket your success with us, or you'll get the $47 gift in exchange for your time. So here's what you're going to do next. Click the link to schedule your call which, uh, with the team Grab a time on the calendar. Once you book your consultation, we'll send you a quick email reminder of the time you booked for your Zoom and we'll connect with you on that day and time. Notice number one, 
this offer expires this week. So I'm not going to be doing this again. So it, this is today is Tuesday. Actually, um, my sister's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> so it expires by the end of this week. Notice number two, you need to be available for the consultation when you request it. So if you're not, then you'll forfeit your spot to work with us. The reason I'm saying that is a lot of people don't show up. When you don't show up for your appointments, it literally tells people, meaning tells us, that you're not professional and that you don't take things seriously. You don't value your time or ours. So that's really important. And this is just in life in general. It's so important that if you say you're going to do something, do it. And this is like a energetic imprint that you put out into the universe of integrity. It's like, I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. And we're going to hold you accountable to that if you join our team and if we help you. Um. So then notice number three, this masterclass training replay is getting viewed by thousands of people all over the world in the next few days. So the consultations are only on a first come, first serve basis. So yeah, there's only a few people that we're going to be able to work with. So book the call and um, hopefully you can be one of the few. Let's see. With that said, you and I both know our available time slots will be reserved fast. So you need to grab a time with our team right now. Thanks a lot for your time and booking a call on our calendar. I know you're going to love this and I look forward to working with you very soon. So book the call guys and just let me know if there's any questions. We have just a few minutes now at the end. Um, post any questions that you have in the chat. I'm happy to answer. You could also unmute yourself if you wanna like ask it live on camera, it's also cool. Um, but yeah, anything that I covered today, if you, as we were going, if you were thinking, oh, I wish, she, you know, I understood this better or that this part of it, I was thinking, you know, I wonder if it would work for my business or like my mission. Is it going to, you know, any of that? Do you have any questions, guys? If so, post it in the comments. I see some familiar faces here. I see Shane is here and Vera is here, which is awesome. Vera did my training uh, a long time ago and I uh, hope you're doing well goddess um but yeah if you guys have any like questions like I said post it in the chat he said many blessings as always oh good thanks for your time you're welcome Sarah so happy to be able to share this with you and I hope that um leave a comment in the chat if you felt like you learned something today if you feel like the value that I that we shared was worth the time right because usually like to learn this level of even what, what I just shared here is literally like a high value. Like we would normally charge a thousand dollars for this workshop that I just showed you. No questions. Just want to say a huge thank you for today. It was awesome. You're welcome, Isabel. So nice to meet you. And I, I see you said you have a course. So that's amazing. Like, you know, definitely love to see you get that out there to so many more people. And you know, I've seen so many people, they, you know, they're creative and have a big heart and want to serve the world. And that's really why I decided to do this uh, masterclass, because I was like, you know, you don't have to do it alone. Like I did so many things alone my career and because I just didn't have anybody that knew how to do these things. But now I learned it all over the years and uh, I can help our community, you know, and that's really where this motivation and inspiration is coming from is to be able to serve you all in a bigger way and in a way that can be beneficial for your soul evolution, for your contribution, your impact for humanity and your income and your livelihood and your freedom, all of those things, your family. Literally, one thing that I look back on my career that I'm so grateful was that I had so much freedom. I got to travel the entire world and you can too. All of these things that I went over today can be done from anywhere. <laughs> That's what they call it, the laptop lifestyle. It's literally like you could be in Bali. You could be anywhere. I lived in Hawaii for four years. I lived in Bali. I, you know, I traveled the whole world, Europe and Costa Rica, Mexico, doing retreats, creating online courses, filming, all of these things. Now, you don't have to do as much as me. But if you want to, you could probably even do more than me. It, it, there's literally no limit. <laughs> and we're going to be creating this tv show leave a comment if you guys want to hear more about the tv show let's see leanne i hope this is not the last time you offer this workshop it's going to be a year or two before i'm going to be able to launch my group classes all these things i learned today it's eye-opening how much is available ah yeah i don't i'm not going to be doing this again probably i don't know like because uh, now we recorded this so 
probably I won't do it live again, but um, I don't know. I'm decided, I guess. Depends. I'm busy. But like, I'd love to see for those of you who are ready to go right now, like who here feels like you already know you're ready to go and like, you know, you're ready for the next level and you know that all you need is that extra guidance and support. And think about that for yourself, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'll be ready in two years. Why? Why are you going to wait two years? You know what I mean? Like, actually, I had this girl, she reached out to me. She had, she came to my last training retreat and she no, she, she did my online training first and then she did, uh, she came to the retreat too. But when I talked to her about the retreat, she said she had been following me for 14 years and she literally had been wanting to do my training for 14 years. And she literally talked herself out of it the whole time. All these reasons like, oh, this and that. And like, you know, she was um, working a corporate job and she just had all these limit limiting beliefs about why she couldn't start right now you know and basically it took her 14 years and I remember when she finally did start the training she was like I can't believe I talked myself out of this for 14 years like literally she had this really like miserable life working at this job that she wasn't passionate about you know doing that for so long and her health had been really been affected by all the stress and it was interesting because she finally did it. She took the plunge finally. And she's so she's doing so well. So then she came to the retreat and she started teaching. She's creating a course right now about how to help people that were in her. She was an occupational therapist. She, she's helping occupational therapists. Um, so it's an interesting thing because she she told me when we were in Bali, she's like, I can't believe I talked myself out of this. For, for 14 years, you know, and when you look back on your life, the only thing you don't want is to have regret. In fact, that's a, like a statistically, they say that most people, the older people that are like near the end of their life, the only thing they regret is not taking the chances um, that they wish they would have, you know, and so then they get to the end and they're like, I should have done this or I should have traveled more. I should have, you know, had the help that I needed or, you know, taking the leap of faith or whatever, you know, there's so many different ways that it, it could be, but basically the regret energy at the end of life, when you're like, I should have just done it. What made me talk myself out of it? Always. It's a limiting belief. Oh, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I'm not ready. None of that's true. The money is available. We got, for example, for this, we have financing, we have a payment plan, we have lots of options and the time is available. Like I did all of this in my, you know, like basically in my spare time, I guess you could say, because I was doing it as I was learning it, you know, and, and I was doing it, creating it like I, no one was helping me, <laughs> but, but it's available and it's, it's possible for you now. So talking yourself out of what you know that in your heart and soul is what you're meant to do is the biggest regret of most people's life. Let's see. Isabel said that could have been me. Don't let it be you this time, Isabel. Thanks so much. This is invaluable. Oh, you're welcome, Sarah. I've scheduled the call. Heading out to celebrate my daughter's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, my God. Her birthday is almost the same as my sister, which is tomorrow. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, happy birthday to your daughter. That's so beautiful. How old is she turning? She'll be, she's nine today. Oh, amazing. Okay. Well, happy birthday to her. And sending Thank you so you, much dear. Love. Blessings. Love Thank to you all, too. Thank you. Have a blessed day. All right, guys. I'm excited for, for all of you who are scheduled to call. And uh, I'm going to get off now, too. It's a little over two hours already. But uh, great job, everyone. And uh, happy that I got to share all of this powerful, like, valuable wisdom. And, and hopefully you take it to the next level with us. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, loves. Have a blessed day. I look forward to working with those of you who are taking this step with us today. And um, many blessings. Namaste.